This episode is brought to you by King of Beards. This is my online shop where you can find high quality products that will help you grow a strong, healthy beard that not only looks great, but also will smell great as well. Definitely the people in your life that like to get up and close with you are gonna thank you for this one. These are products that I use personally. The link is below in the video description section and if you use my coupon code KING, you'll get 15% off on your first order. Hey there, FTD fam. This is Khalil uh, back at you with another video. All right, we're going to take a look. It appears here DJ Khaled, Mike Tyson, and I believe it's Shah Rukh Khan um, made it to Umrah in 2022. Let's uh, go ahead and see what that experience was all about. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go. DJ Khalid. I can't say Khalid. Khalid. It's just sounds weird yeah <laughs> dj but even dj and khalid in the same sentence sounds odd dj khalid mike tyson and shahrukh khan have all been spotted at umrah oh, another one so here you can see the indian news has confirmed that indeed shahrukh khan was there tonight literally on DJ Khalid's Instagram, he posted this particular video that you can see him with Mike Tyson and another guy. You can also see these little clips of uh, the DJ going around taking video footage of the Makkan clock tower, of uh, the surroundings out and about. What's beautiful about Umrah is that it strips you of your decorative clothing and replaces it with two white cloths, one at the top and one at the bottom. Oh, okay. This is done in an effort to humble you regardless of whether you're a singer, boxer mm. or an actor. You circumambulate the Kaaba which is known as the house of Allah. In fact, every mosque is known as the house of Allah. And this is said in respect, just like a person will go into their house and, and find comfort, solace and respect that place. That's why Allah calls the mosques his house, that a person will feel an affinity with God. Doesn't mean he resides in there, of course. It's the same with the Kaaba as well. Muslims do not worship the Kaaba, the black cube. Yes, we pray at the Kaaba, not to the Kaaba. Ah. We pray to Allah. This is a place <laughs> that wherever listen. we are in the world, this is a place that every Muslim will face the direction. It is to unify us. That's one of the wisdoms behind it. And of course, they will go around the Kaaba seven times, just like you look at any circle, every circle has only one center. And when you circumambulate the Kaaba, there is one center and that one center indicates and correlates with there being one God. Of course, these individuals will walk between Safa, the mountain and Marwa, the mountain. So this is done in commemoration of Hagar, known as Hajra, the wife of Abraham, peace be upon them both. How a woman that was in the desert and her child was crying, yet she didn't stand there, lose hope and just go AWOL. She did whatever she could. She went from Safa to Marwa, from Safa to Marwa 1, Marwa back to Safa 2. She did this seven times. And then these individuals will drink Zam Zam. As she was doing that, an angel was told to go and using the wing, dig a well at the feet of Ishmael, the son of Abraham. This is commemoration of finding success in a hopeless situation. I mean, life is full of trials and tribulations and it is our mindset that makes us successful because everybody incurs trials and tribulations, but it is your mindset and how you deal with it. And it is trips like this that will make you head strong. It will give you the tools and it will equip you spiritually to deal with these challenges. And of course, I love this. Umrah, Hajj, it connects us with history through action. And this is the beauty of Islam. We talk about unity, go to any mosque and you will see people of any color, of any uh, stature, of any status standing shoulder to shoulder, raising their hands and saying Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest, not your tribe, not your color or your country as we're seeing in the World Cup. And guys, as we can see from these individuals, everybody needs a reminder. Everyone needs direction. Everyone needs spiritual nourishment, which cannot be satiated by mm. money, fame, 
women, intoxicants. It's because the creator of us, this machine, I mean, it needs, I mean, just by any machine, it comes with a user manual. I mean, how can we come without a user manual? Our user manual is the Quran, and if we neglect it, it affects our spirit. If we go to these, you know, intoxicants and stuff like that, Allah has not put peace in these things. Yes, you need money, and yes, fame helps, and, and the likes, but these things cannot satisfy that void within you because God has created your heart. God understands, Allah understands your pain. So guys, do not forget Allah. If you can't go Umrah, Salah. Salah, don't forget your Salah, your prayer. Those of you that are non-Muslim, wherever you are, just raise your hand and even you can communicate with God as well. Oh yes, indeed. You can say, God, if you're there, guide me, help me. I am in pain. I ask you and you alone. And guys, guys, I'm telling you, the result that you get, it will be surprising. Oh yes, indeed. Try it. Let's leave it there. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. All right, guys, there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. That was really cool. I appreciate my friend's encouragement there to not allow the vanities of this world to consume us because like he said, I just like wording. So he, he spoke a bit about it being an, um, an insatiable pit, insatiable meaning there's no way to satisfy the, the, the that void of um, of, of nothingness, <laughs> pretty much. There's not enough women. There's not enough money. There's not enough drugs, alcohol. There's not enough pleasures in this world. I find that in Jesus. He is my Lord. He is my savior. Um, he is God. And that's where I find that peace and comfort. Um, that it, it's, it's, it's a thing that he think, think, thing to know that the world that we're living in, it can only go so far right and coming to terms and grips with that and allowing a relationship um, to guide our decision making and take us where we need to go that's pretty cool i really really uh, i might go back and watch this video again because those words at the end are pretty pretty encouraging guys i really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video with me mike tyson dj khaled dj khaled however he said it and um uh, the Sarah Khan, Sarah Khan, he, uh, yeah, they did Uma. Thanks guys, I really appreciate you. This is Khalil, opening my mind a little bit more to the world of Islam and following the journey of Mike Tyson and some friends. Guys, you take care and be good. Mm -hmm.